Imagine a time when sophisticated computers allow text to become animated images and movies. That is exactly what is being made possible by artificial intelligence. Stay tuned as we explore the world of Lumiere and examine how Google's latest AI model for video generation is revolutionizing the video making industry. Google's Lumiere serves as a creative partner for content creation. It provides multiple features, which include text to video, image to video, stylized generation, video stylization, cinemagraphs, and in painting. Its development uses diffusion probabilistic models that are trained to estimate video distribution with a set of denoising steps for its generative approach. A novel diffusion model known as Spacetime UNet or StuNet is used by Lumiere to determine where objects are in a video, space, and how they simultaneously move and change, time. Lumiere can produce the entire video with this method rather than assembling individual still frames. The distribution learning of this AI model was accomplished by adding more guiding signals. Spatial conditioning and incorporated text are a couple of the guiding cues. Lumiere employs a base model and a spatial super resolution model as its framework. Plus it uses the space-time UNet architecture to guarantee that the created videos have coherent motion and are more realistic. This state-of-the-art artificial intelligence replaces Google's recent zero-shot diffusion model, VideoPoet, and a text-to-video diffusion model. Instead of creating keyframes and then filling in the blanks, Lumiere processes every frame in a video at once by utilizing StuNet architecture. It begins by utilizing a prompt to create a foundation frame. Consider this as establishing the scene. Then, to create more frames that blend together and provide the appearance of fluid motion, it begins evaluating the movement of the objects in that frame. After that, Lumiere produces more frames that blend into one another to produce a visually stunning video. The generated frames are refined for quality and consistency, resulting in the final video output. Moreover, Lumiere produces 80 frames as opposed to Stable Diffusion's 25 frames. Lumiere produces videos with impressive visual fidelity and realistic object movements, surpassing the quality of many already existing text-to-video models. Lumiere's ability to produce high-quality videos revolves around its unique combination of two powerful AI models, Spacetime UNet and a text-to-diffusion model. StuNet acts as a director, responsible for predicting how objects and elements in the scene will move and change over time. Imagine it as a choreographer meticulously planning the movements of characters and objects in a video. The text-to-image diffusion model functions as the painter, translating the textual description into a detailed first frame for the video. Think of it like an artist capturing the initial scene based on the script. One of Lumiere's biggest strengths is its ability to maintain consistency throughout the video, ensuring smooth transitions and believable object interactions. Unlike many conventional text-to-video models that generate frames independently, Lumiere takes a different approach. It doesn't just paint each frame in isolation, it predicts the entire video sequence at once. It forecasts how objects will move and interact with each other across the video, ensuring consistent trajectories and avoiding sudden, unrealistic shifts. StuNet tracks the relationships and positions of objects throughout the video, preventing them from disappearing or teleporting between frames. Plus, it incorporates recurrent connections, allowing it to remember information from previous frames and use it to influence future ones, further enhancing coherence. Lumiere can handle detailed and nuanced text descriptions, generating visuals that accurately reflect the user's intent. Although the AI does not generate comprehensive scene descriptions in-house, it is highly proficient at converting such details into visually striking and well-organized films. Input is the master key. The crucial starting point is a detailed text description. The more comprehensive and specific the description is, with details like object appearances, their movements, interactions, the setting and even moods or atmosphere, the better Lumiere can understand the scene it is to create. There are some technical limitations to be aware of. Firstly, Lumiere struggles with highly complex scenes involving numerous moving objects and intricate interactions. The quality and coherence of the generated video might suffer in such instances. Secondly, Lumiere can only generate videos up to a certain length, restricting its use for longer storytelling or educational content. 
Textual understanding is also a factor. While it can handle detailed descriptions, it might misinterpret nuances or complex concepts, leading to inaccurate or nonsensical outputs. Lastly, the generated videos are not yet at the highest resolution, and finer details might be lost compared to real-world footage. Now that we know what Lumiere is capable of, let's see how we might put this impressive piece of AI to good use. Lumiere can be a very resourceful tool in the hands of a designer. It lends itself to several design processes such as prototyping, architectural visualizations, image generation, and much more. It could enable designers to swiftly produce graphic representations of their ideas by inputting written descriptions. This would enable more rapid exploration and iteration of various design concepts making unique, customized avatars and characters for games, virtual reality experiences, or even targeted marketing efforts based on textual descriptions are examples of ideas being represented graphically. Google Lumiere is primarily focused on generating videos from text descriptions, but its underlying technology does hold potential for broader generative capabilities. While still in its early stages, Lumiere's core architecture and functionalities hint at future applications beyond video generation, such as generating images and animations, animating static images, personalizing 3D models, and telling interactive stories. The text-to-image diffusion model, a key component of Lumiere, could be adapted to create static images directly from text descriptions. Imagine generating detailed landscapes, character portraits, or specific objects based on textual prompts. With further development, its ability to predict object movements could be applied to animate existing images or illustrations. Think of bringing historical paintings to life or creating dynamic infographics from static data visualizations. The combination of text understanding and object prediction could pave the way for generating personalized 3D models based on textual descriptions. Imagine designing custom avatars or creating unique 3D objects for games or simulations. Integrating Lumiere with interactive platforms could enable immersive storytelling experiences. It could be adapted to explore an environment or story that adapts and unfolds based on your text inputs, creating a dynamic and personalized narrative. Google Lumiere could also be used to develop interactive teaching resources that allow students to investigate scientific ideas or historical events by answering text prompts and producing lifelike models or graphics. This could enhance student engagement and accommodate various learning preferences. Imagine using this AI to create videos in which you describe scenes in the language you are studying, immersing you in the culture and allowing you to practice vocabulary in a real-world setting. Lumiere can also be directed upon marketing and advertising to create demonstrations for dynamic products and campaigns for interactive storytelling. In the entertainment world, it could be used to design interactive storytelling games, create trailers and teaser videos, and generate entertaining educational content. These are just potential future applications and their actual implementation requires significant research and development. Like any AI model, Lumiere is not perfect. While it achieves remarkable temporal coherence, it's still under development. Researchers are working on further refining its ability to handle complex scenes with intricate object interactions and ensure even smoother transitions in all situations. Besides having a few technical limits that were mentioned earlier, Lumiere may not need any help crossing certain ethical boundaries as well. Like any AI model, Lumiere could inherit biases from its training data, potentially leading to discriminatory or offensive outputs. The ability to generate realistic videos from text raises concerns about the potential for creating deep fakes or spreading misinformation. Ensuring that Lumiere is accessible to everyone and generates inclusive content that represents diverse perspectives is crucial to avoiding perpetuating existing inequalities. Careful curation and monitoring of training data, as well as robust safeguards and responsible use, will all be crucial. Ultimately, Google Lumiere's true potential lies not just in generating realistic videos, but in its ability to bridge the gap between text and various forms of visual creation. As research progresses and limitations are addressed, we might see this technology unlock exciting possibilities in diverse fields like animation, personalized design, and interactive storytelling. As always, please remember to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.